Kevin. Yeah, we're just cutting up some ginger here to make some sorrel drink. Right. Yeah, you know, it's a favorite thing on the catch this time of the year. That's it. It's a magical thing in Jamaica. Yeah. A magical beverage. So I get the ginger in it, then put it down on the fire. When it boils up, we turn it off. So when we asked you how much ginger, I think Peter asked you how much ginger. And well, we were well, kind of shocked at the answer. Well, well um, yeah, but we won't put the oil of it oh, okay. in it. So. How did sorrel become a Christmas drink here? Do you have any idea? Uh, uh, no, I don't have any idea. So. Okay, I gotta get some fermented seed in this thing. Okay, this is new because, yeah, I've seen this drink before, but not necessarily with pimento seeds. So, yeah. can you show me in your hand quick what they they look like? Yeah, this so, is right. so this is the same pimento seed that you get to season jerk chicken. Yeah. Or also yeah. known allspice, right? Yes. Okay. And I think Jamaica exports more all or pimento than anywhere yes. in the world, yeah, right? Yeah. It's like a very authentically Jamaican thing. Whoa! So does this get super spicy then? Ooh, you would taste it. You're gonna be like <laughs> on some um, Italian wine. Okay, like mulled wine almost with sorrel. You yeah, have some people right now that make um, pimento wine. Yeah. Pimento wine out right now, like how oh, you have the sorrel. Then we just say um, sorrel wine, and like, yeah, pimento wine. But some people just call it sorrel drink instead of sorrel wine. And I was surprised they make a lot of sorrel in Mexico just as a juice, like a cold drink. Yeah. But they call it Flor de Jamaica or Jamaica because it's so associated with Jamaica that they uh. they named it after the country Jamaica. So <laughs> yeah, they can make it really nice cold, usually on ice. Yeah. But they, I, I'm pretty sure they don't put pimento in it. All right, do get this going. Sometimes. The ginger them are really hot. Mm -hmm. Then um, I realized uh, the people inside with the ginger, but these are pretty young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, they're white. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to open the amount of put in there. You don't really want to get over hot, over spice. Ah, okay. You know? Yeah. It's so more the flavor than the, the heat of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as it starts, as soon as it boils up, we will turn it off. And Get the sorrel in it. Alright, let's see this sorrel. It's looking good. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I've made this sorrel at home, but you definitely do not get the fresh. It's always dried, so it looks, well, a lot smaller, right? It really shrinks up yeah. when it's dry. But this is the season for the fresh sorrel at the market. How much does one of these bags go for at the market? Uh, $250. So it's pretty damn reasonable, yeah. I'd say. That's yeah. about $2. So a huge bag for two bucks. I think the bags of dried ones, they weren't nearly this big, maybe even like half of that. <laughs> I was paying probably five bucks for. But if, if it's dry, it will become lesser than what you buy in that Yeah, yeah, amount. super cheap. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a trick, isn't it? Um, they make more money from it when it dry. Sure. <laughs> but like, um, local Jamaican wouldn't buy the dry ones. No. That's why the people don't really sell them dry. They just cut the same time and come and sell them. Yeah. I've seen people drying it themselves though too. If them, uh, um, sometimes they're drying it for someone to send in the states or other countries. Okay. Yeah. But they don't really dry them for themselves. When the, when the sorrel season over, the Christmas, everything over, sorrel over. Nobody mm -hmm. have none. No, they not put on yeah. none for themselves. Uh, oh, I'm dry this and put on, uh, maybe in a June, we can draw some sorrel, like uh, December. But You must be saying it all the Mexico, man. I'm telling you. They're drinking Florida, Jamaica all the time. This is nothing you really want, Belle. Hey, there's nothing for you. This is Stewie, aka Stew Boss. Hey, Stewie. Hey, fresh water. It's been a hell of a time. <laughs> no fresh water lately. 
We've been surfing a bunch, coming home all salty. The water's been out for days. Not showering, all crusty. And today we went to the waterfall to fill up enough to, so we can make this sorrel juice and have the first shower in a few days. And it was glorious to say the least. I feel like a new man, Devin. <laughs> yeah. I really do. <laughs> Everyone loves seeing food get washed on YouTube. I can tell you that. It's an important step. And I know there's a lot of white sorrel, but I I don't see it around nearly as much as the red no, sorrel. No, because no people don't really like the white one. No? No. Why? Just because the flavor? Because the color's not yeah, as pretty as the other right. one. Right. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you juice it, it's not nearly, it's not no. having that nice red wine color. No. Well, people, if we get used to that, I know it's all right, um, like white wine. Yeah. Similar, but still, yeah, it looks yeah. it looks different, I'd say. And that's why you wash your yeah. sorrel. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know what? A lot of that coloring is just from the redness of it, yeah. too, right? It's not particularly dirty or anything. Full boat. Yep. Here we go. Come on, Stewie. Now the stove now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty hot enough, but I'm just always going on this. Quickly. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at all those pimento going. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, this is looking like that may not fit everything. Questionable. Huh? You think that's all gonna go in there? Yeah. All right. If it don't fit, shove it. Oh yeah. See? Who am I to have doubted this? Should have known better than to doubt this chef. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be powerful, man. Like that much sore with that much water. Yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, it's changing already. Yeah. Just got in there. Yeah, Would you say most people make it with or without the alcohol in it? Um, some people make it with the alcohol, but like the alcoholic carrot a nice flavor in it. Mm. Yeah. Yes, Matt, so mm. we're gonna straighten the side off. Oh, Whoa. yeah. We gotta get a shot of that top part there. Oh, yeah. The color is crazy. That's why it's such a Christmas thing. Just gonna color along. Yeah. <laughs> Red like mm. Santa's suit. It's gonna be crazy with the pimento. Oh, yeah. Need another hand? Yeah. Might be the injector. Got Peter on the scene. Here we go. Teamwork. Teamwork. Easy for the teamwork. Alright. Oh, with all that good shit. Whoa, man. It like plumps up a bit, yeah. huh? Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna need one of them. We're gonna need a bucket. Yeah, one of them. One of them water bucket from outside. We're gonna need one of these 30 liter ones. Hey. Come to the shower. You guys eat one? Mm. All right. Got one of these. So I've made sorrel before, but I've never actually eaten the. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's soft like a cabbage. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Whoa. Yeah. You could totally cook that up with cabbage. Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's almost like a... How do I describe that? Like a tart, a tart cabbage. A mix of cranberry and cabbage, that's what I, I would call it. That's trippy. That's, yeah. that's pretty good, man. Yeah. 
And with the pimento spice, it almost spices mm -hmm. it up. Same way. Oh, I could get into that. Yeah, that's definitely a new one. I, I'd, you wouldn't eat the dry ones after, would you? They'd be mm -hmm. no. no good. So that's right. what I'm saying. I think I took a little nibble before and it didn't taste good. But these fresh ones are like very nice. Interesting. I read anymore. You gotta get some chew. Damn some good. Mm? Yes, sugar there. Mmm. Even still crunchy a bit. Mm. You need more sugar on yeah. that? Yeah, no. More sugar there. And more sugar in here. Okay. Alright, so we're getting sugared up. Yeah. Man, I'm amazed, dude. That's what I'm saying. When, when you were talking about the making the sorrel jelly, yeah, it would be really nice. It would yeah. be like a, a cranberry mm -hmm. sauce almost. That is a perfect Christmas thing. You do have cranberry sauce, mm -hmm. but, but I think the pimento gives it that extra kind of tartness, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. It is a little bit the ginger, not so spice, but you just feel a little bit. Yeah, it's subtle, right? Yeah, it works though. Near perfect. <laughs> oh, what else does it need? Maybe I will melate to you some. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's it good to me. It's good? Yeah. Okay. But more you're gonna drink it, you're gonna say, oh, maybe it needs a little more sweetener. Oh, I, I don't like sweet very much, so. Okay, that's, okay. That's All right, me. so that's it. We're gonna get something now and we're gonna pour it in this bottle. All right. So good. we got the sarlier and we got the pine there. So it's super icy, left 24 hours, yeah, just about full frozen, this is a little sorrel drink, alright, just in time for Christmas. Yeah, pop it up, look like pretty icy, smooth, oh, in Jamaica really hot. So you know you're going to need a lot of cool thing to de don't get dehydrated. Mm -hmm. This is as cool as it gets. Okay, here we go. Wow. Yeah, I love that color, man. It's Ooh. Yeah, it's not quite like a wine. It's got a more, almost deeper, a little bit lighter yeah. kind of red to it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Cheers, Matt. Cheers. This is our second round. This is a sorrel refreshing. It's good smoothie, and so everyone will expect a sorrel drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you're here to enjoy it. Yeah, big up, man. Woo! Whoa, the yeah. pimento really gives yeah. it a whole different kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of like a mulled wine, almost like when people put cinnamon oh, in it. Yeah. Uh, they yeah. do like a hot wine in cold cold places, but yeah. I don't know, pimento is interesting because it's kind of like a peppery, but it's also got and its own. We could like, if we never put it to cool, we could put it like in a, a quart bottle, uh -huh. put it down, Sprinkle a few rice grain in the bottom to preserve it, and it becomes a wine oh. in like a month or two. So the rice kind of ferments in it, and then yeah. make yeah, don't make it spoil. Uh -huh. Don't get so crazy. Does it get kind of fizzy too when you do that one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the ginger, yeah, it sort of really does kind of remind me of a cranberry-ish. Yeah, but. The, the addition of the pimento is a whole new game for yeah. me. Uh, I've made it at home, I like adding a little bit of orange peel in it too. Oh. That, I've tried that one before too, that's a nice addition. But I guess every family has their own kind of 
sorrel mm -hmm. recipe, right? Look at yeah. the color of this one. Yeah. So, so, that is so good. Yeah, man, and that, the gingery goodness, I feel like it. Yeah. These are antioxidants, I think, in the, in the sorrel. It has a ton of those. Yes. I'm reading about yeah. it. Well, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you're doing. Hope you have a great, great one. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Devin, again. Yeah, you're welcome. This guy just checked me out. If you ever been to Jamaica and need some refreshing juice, just check me out. Yeah. I got it. We'll link Devin all down below. Check his Instagram, Rasta Devin, at Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you can put your WhatsApp number too if people want to give you a buzz yes. while you're here yes. for anything you need, especially yes. when you're in St. Thomas. So. I also do coconut oil if you need a 100% coconut oil whenever time you're in Jamaica. Link me. Yeah. Mm. God damn, that's good. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Happy holidays.